Okay, we're here for day, what day are we on? Day seven of our nine day prayer uh, of service, our novena of service to Mary, undoer of knots. Here's the booklet that we are following along. I got this at St. Max several years ago. It's a, a wonderful little book that, that's full of a um, couple different prayers and then the novena. So what I wanna um, start off with this morning before we get into day seven is, um, it's called A Prayer for the Strengthening of Marriages. It's found in this booklet. So we'll begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed Mother, take into your hands the knots that affect married couples and with your long fingers of love and grace undo these knots for the glory of God. Visit married couples with your grace. Renew their sacramental covenant. Increase God's love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that with their children, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. Mary, undoer of knots, pray for us. Okay. So the intention for today is praying for Christians outside the Catholic Church. Day seven's intention, praying for Christians outside the Catholic Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because of your just punishments, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. O oh, Blessed Mother, who in submission to God lived a life of humility and service, visit me with your grace. Through your intercession, instill in my heart a love for all members of the human family, especially those whom I have the most trouble loving and those whom I have the most trouble serving. Pray with me now, beautiful intercessor, and with your grace, help me to untie the knots that bind your children on earth. Through your prayer and service to others, may I live according to your example and be brought ever closer to your son, Jesus. Mary, undoer of knots, pray for us. The scripture for today is from John chapter 10, verses 14 through 16. I am the good shepherd. As the Father knows me and I know the Father, in the same way I know my sheep and they know me and I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep which belong to me that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them too. They will listen to my voice and they will become one flock with one shepherd. Mary, Queen Mother of Jesus and Queen of Heaven, look with kindness and compassion upon Christians separated from us who are in full communion with the Catholic Church. See the knots of ignorance, pride, and misinformation that keep us separated from full communion with each other. Together with blessed John Henry Newman, undo these knots for the glory of God and his church. Call us and our separated brothers and sisters together in unity in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lastly, mother, untie my knots of misunderstanding and arrogance towards these brothers and sisters. Help me to love them as the good shepherd does. Mary, undoer of knots, pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Powerful Mother, who unties our knots, hear these prayers and the prayers of all the faithful. Intercede for my brothers and sisters, and with your influence, loose the entanglements and knots which hold them captive. 
Forgive the human race for its unbelief and lead us all to faith in your Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. Last of all, most blessed Virgin, pray for me, who is most in need of your grace and mercy. Untie the knots in my own heart and in my own life and free me to love as Christ loves. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.